Hey guys, so today I would like to give you a few tips on how to get better handheld footage. For the past three years, I've been shooting most of my projects handheld, and to be honest, it is my favorite type of shooting because it allows me to react to the situation in front of the camera very quickly, and the camera almost feels as an extension of my body. This, I believe, is extremely important, especially in the documentary types of shootings. First of all, guys, sorry for my sweaty t-shirt, but I'm near the beach and it's very humid here in Bali. Today, I'll be shooting with my cinema camera, which, as most of the cinema cameras, don't have any image stabilization. This is the Kinefinity Mavo LF Mark II. If you haven't heard of it, you can watch a video right here, which I made about the camera about a month ago. And if you shoot with a mirrorless camera that has an image stabilization, make sure that you know how it works, so you don't end up with a stabilized but wobbly footage, as you're seeing right now on the screen. Before we jump into the tips, I just want to say two things. First, before I decide to shoot handheld, I always try to think about if it's the right approach for the project. Because the way you move the camera affects the audience, so you want to be intentional with your choices. Luckily, for documentary types of shootings, handheld, in most cases, is a good decision. Second, I want you to forget the idea that handheld footage has to be absolutely stable. If you're walking or running with your camera, there will be shake. And shake is good. It can give the footage certain emotion. It can create a feeling of urgency or action. So it's kind of a balance that you want to strike between a naturally looking handheld footage, but at the same time, having enough control over the movements and the camera shake. Now let's jump straight into the tips. So the first thing you want to do, you want to add some weight to your camera. This will help with minimizing the micro shake coming out of your hands because the heavier the camera, the more the gravity will pull it down. If you're shooting with a mirrorless camera, I suggest you to add some accessories like a cage, monitor, top handle, V-mount battery and more. This will make sure that your rig is a little heavier and as I said, it will minimize the micro shake. At the same time, you want to make sure that you balance your camera properly. The way you test the balance is that you grab it for the top handle and you just kind of let it hang. If the camera is tilting forward, backwards or sideways, you kind of want to rebalance it by either moving the top handle or adding some additional accessories to counterweight the balance. Now, if your goal is to get the most stable footage, you definitely don't want to be walking with your camera when shooting handheld. What you want to be doing is you want to find three points of stabilization. So you have one point, your left or right hand, second point, the other hand, and the third point is ideally somewhere on your body. What I usually do is I either lock my camera under my chest or into my hip. If I have a shoulder rig, I can also put it on my shoulder. Now, these three points of stabilization make sure that the camera is pretty stable, but obviously you don't want to just stand and point the camera in direction. You want to be able to add some movement. To add some movement, I would suggest you to lock the camera in and then use your waist to move the camera from side to side or up and down. Hey guys, I just quickly wanted to jump in because as I'm editing the YouTube video, I just realized one thing. Um, if you want to get really, really stable shots, one tip that I can give you is also to hold your breath. So whenever you hit record, just hold your breath, get the shot and then start breathing again. This will minimize the shake that is coming from your chest and your body moving. Okay, back to the video. If you want to get more of a gliding effect, you want to spread your legs wider, bend your knees, and then kind of glide from side to side, which will result in pretty stable camera shots. Now the next step is obviously to learn how to walk with the camera. For that, you actually want to get your camera away from your body because as you walk, the shock that is coming from your steps will travel through your torso up and if your camera is locked in, it will just add more shake. So you put your camera away from your body, you hold it with your right hand, you kind of let it hang and then use your left hand to give it a little bit more control and balance. And then you start the walk. Now to walk with the camera, you want to do sort of a ninja walk where your feet are landing on the ground very softly and in a very controlled way. It looks something like this going from your heel to toe and trying to keep your torso in one horizontal line using your knees as a suspension. 
Obviously, this takes a lot of practice, but once you master it, you can even increase the speed and you could even start running with the camera, applying this technique to your walk. Okay guys, last two tips. If you want to get stable looking footage, try to shoot with wider lenses because the wider the lens, the less shake there will be in the footage. And contrary, if you're shooting with the 50 or 70 millimeter lens, there will be some shake. But maybe that's something that you're going for. Last tip, if situation allows it, again, try to be intentional. You could shoot in 50 or 60 frames per second and that will allow you then to slow down the footage, which again will minimize the shaky look. So now just a quick recap. First, add some weight to your camera. Make sure that it's properly balanced. Find three points of stabilization using your hands and your body. If you're running, move the camera away from your body and then learn how to walk like Ninja. Use wider lenses to get more stable footage. If situation allows it, use slow motion. And that's it for today. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video next Tuesday. Peace. Um, okay, that was fine.